Hello, my name's Dr Power and this is Dr Santos and we just wanted to remind you about HCT's Prevention of Admission Service. So Dr Power, what is POA? So POA stands for Prevention of Admission, although sometimes our service is called the Hospital at Home Service. Um, and we've been running for about 18 months now with the aim to keep patients with medical conditions at home. So we treat a number of different conditions um, using um, multidisciplinary teams of GPs based here in the hub, community nurses going out to visit patients. We also have some paramedics, therapy members of staff on our team, and also get support from other HCT staff such as palliative care and the community respiratory team. Very well. Um, what sort of patients can we refer to POA? So um, we don't have definite patients that we can um, that we definitely accept or receive, in that we like to think that we assess each patient um, on a case by case basis. Um, there's certain conditions that we tend to see a lot of though, so we manage quite a lot of patients with suspected DVTs. Um, so certainly if you see a patient with a red hot swollen leg that you think might need a D dimer or a scan, you can refer to us. And we also have quite a lot of patients that have got cellulitis that might not be responding to oral antibiotics, so we can give intravenous antibiotics um, as long as their only IVs are given once a day um, in the community. Uh, we also manage patients with heart failure, patients with respiratory conditions such as recovering from COVID or COPD, um, and we can also manage patients that might need investigations like blood tests, non-urgent ECGs, patients that might be confused and need a bit more support or patients that are having recurrent falls for example. So quite a lot of different scenarios. Yeah, absolutely. So how about if we're not sure if we can uh, refer or not to POA? So if you're not sure, we still really want to encourage paramedics to call us just to discuss specific cases and we can brainstorm with you whether that uh, there's services that might be on offer or if we can't help, we can try and signpost them put you to a service that can. Um, when we're accepting referrals, we tend to kind of run through certain questions, like is it safe for this patient to be at home? Does this fit with the patient's wishes? Um, we would prefer really for a paramedic to have been with the patient, done some obs, examined them, so we've got some clinical inform information. Um, and as long as they're over 18 and they're registered with a GP in East and North Hertfordshire, we're more than happy to try and support you. And um, what about waiting times on the phones? How long yeah. would they have to wait? Well, it's a myth that people have to wait for a long time on the phone. Um, actually, when we've looked at call times, that isn't normally true. In the last six months, the average wait time to get through to POA is 2 minutes 32 seconds. Um, just want to encourage everybody, when you do call our number, which is 0300 123 7571, always select option two because that puts you to the top of the queue on the professional line and hopefully it won't be long to wait. Okay, thank you very thank much. You. You're welcome. Bye bye.